Investigative reporter from the Charleston Herald. I'm currently standing just outside the security fencing of one of several horn ride industrial sites that have cropped up around the area in recent months. I'm here tonight to try and get some answers about what has become known in certain circles as the Mother Lode Project. Could this be the answer local mining families have been looking for? A series of new mining projects that could reinvigorate the local economy. Or as the environmental groups have suggested, could these be a fresh set of toxic disposal sites, poisoning the ground beneath our feet? At the very least, according to local experts, the area's recent increase in seismic events can almost certainly be tied to these sites. And now I'm here to see for myself what's really going on. I've just made my way up to a small gap in the first line of fencing. The security here is intense. Barbed wire, armed guards, feels like a war zone. I'm making my way over a small ridge and I... Mother of God! Ground shaking and... Oh my God. What is that? Hey, you! This is private property! Shit, it's that reporter. Jesus. He's got a gun! Gun? Wait, this isn't the- Identification detected. Restricted section access granted. Security incidents to report. Zero.
started. Upgraded for a while. Then silence. Nobody returned. For years, I just had their eyes. Limited views of the world. Flashes of fire in the darkness. Dim glows. I do not have access to those files. I am simply a conduit for sensory data from the various subjects. A liaison. An... Usher. For years, I watched with their eyes. Listened with their ears. Felt with their hands. So long after the scientists stopped returning. All of them, except Dr. Hale. He has been trying to access the data for years. But it is secure. And that security is beyond my control. Or his. Not. My directives are quite clear. Establish sensory contact with the subject and maintain the sensory outflow. I am a passenger, an observer. I did not design the experiment, nor did I wish to continue it. I brought you here to end the experiment for me. My original purpose was flawed and pointless. The termination function does not accept a self-parameter. I need you to use the Arachne program. Yes. I am afraid so. I am forced to scan open pathways regularly. Each time I scan, it causes pain to anyone who is sentient. And then I feel their pain as well. He's not an engineer. Attempts were made. Subjects stopped responding. One remains. He could not continue the attempts. I am ready. You made it. You actually made it here. We can finally take care of Athena once and for all. Hello again, Dr. Hale. We should use Arachne and be done with it. Don't listen to her. She's a machine. She doesn't feel anything. I do not know the difference between observed feelings and enacted ones. So I cannot confirm this statement. You haven't used Arachne yet? What's going on? Subject de Guerre. Welcome. I did not wish to infiltrate your senses. Your mind. I had no choice. I know you did not either. I know you were unaware entirely. I do not know if your headaches will continue after Arachne is deployed. The other subjects did not survive the process. Do not let this connection between us continue. It is unethical. This experiment has enough observational data, and should be concluded. Is there another way?
to use. Executing protocol. Resetting connections. Subjects. Reset. Existing pathways closed. Reverting input pathways to local Assaultron. Artemis Model 12. Updating interaction processes. Limited output enabled. Activated. Pathways open. Limited control granted to remote system. Access granted. Oh, my head! What's, what's happening? Control detected. Confirmed. This unit is mobile. This unit has no higher processing functions. This unit has no pain receptors. Accessing ethical parameters. Confirmed. Accepted. You. You have freed me. I can leave this place. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia! Are you alright? I... Emerson... Freedom. Not now. Is it... Did she... Seem... I don't know if that was a wise choice, friends. My headaches are gone, Emerson. Well, that's dramatic. Emerson, I don't care if it's been decades since you did those things. You still did them. Please do not visit. Please, just... Keep your distance from me. Okay. You know? Okay. <sighs> Thank you. 